Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to conduct an independent samples t-test in Stata. In order to get started let's first pick our data set and I am pulling up the automobile data in Stata which you can also do by just typing in web use auto. Let's have a quick look at these data. These will be familiar to you perhaps from the one sample t-test and some of the other procedures that we've carrying, carried out using this data set. As you can see, it's about cars. So we have makes of cars, uh, prices, miles per gallon, and some other characteristics. What's of interest for the independent samples t-test is this variable here, foreign. As you can see, foreign has two values, domestic and foreign. And if you look up in this box here, you can actually see the numeric values that Stata has used, one for foreign and zero for domestic. Let's say that we are conducting research upon the subject of miles per gallon as a function of the region of manufacture of the car. And perhaps our hypothesis is that foreign car manufacturers have better gas mileage than domestic. How would we test something like that? Well, in Stata, that's what the independent samples t-test code is for. It's just t-test then it's the value, the continuous var value that you're testing for, which in this case is miles per gallon, and then it's a comma, by, and then in parentheses here, it's the dichotomous variable, meaning the variable with two possible uh, outcomes, that is the sorting variable. And so we do that, and we find out that, well, gee, the domestic cars have a mean miles per gallon of about pretty close to 20, and the foreign ones, it's pretty close to 25. So we, we have a distance here between them of just about five miles per gallon. And we see that it's pretty substantial. This is the two-tailed version of the hypothesis. So if we were, if we were interested in a two-tailed version, we would look at this p-value. But what we want to really know is, is domestic uh, miles per gallon less than not just different from, right, which is the two-tailed version, but less than the mean of foreign MPG. And so we're going to look at this p-value here. This is what we will be reporting. Uh, and we see that, wow, it's, it's below 0.05. It's, uh, it's pretty low. So we see that it's a significant difference. And what we would conclude is that foreign manufacturers do indeed get better gas mileage than domestic. One thing that we would want to do is graph this relationship so that we can see what it looks like and before I show you this pretty nifty graph uh, let's look at the code again it's a box plot that we're making so that's graph box mpg because that's the variable we're testing for we put the comma and this part of the code here over foreign is to create this so we have a domestic and a foreign version over here so that's what this portion of the code does what this portion of the code over here does is it labels the outliers for us and it labels them using the variable make which if you recall was in the data set for each car so what does that look like uh, let's have another look at it as you can see we can see that the uh, the foreign mpg is a, is a bit higher over here than the domestic and there happen to be outliers a volkswagen diesel is really the best performer among the foreign cars in terms of miles per gallon and the Plymouth Champion is the best performer among the domestic cars. Anyway, I hope this tutorial was useful for you. Independent samples t-tests come up a great deal in, in a lot of uh, academic work. Uh, I do encourage you to look at 272analytics.com's stats guide where we have uh, multiple procedure guides for Stata, SPSS, R, and other software. And please do keep us in mind for all your Chapter 3, Chapter 4 needs. We can assist with any element of quantitative method methodology or data analysis for really any academic assignment whatsoever. We're experts and we can help you. Thanks for listening and have a great day.